Today, I'm going to go over a story titled, My Wife, a 45-Year-Old Female, Demanded That We Have an Open Relationship and Now Isn't Happy That I'm Sleeping With Our Daughter's 21-Year-Old Friend. Child, you cannot make this ish up. Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Ashan Denise, and we are looking at the strong, successful male on his channel called They Did What? What? in the entire world is going on. And guys, what we have here is yet another story of some bonehead husband who eventually caved because his wife wanted was bored, was tired of him, and wanted to go hook up with other dudes but still keep him around to take care of the bills and have her not be alone and all that. So when these women ask for these relationships, they really expect the man to just sit around and just do what? If you're gonna ask for it, which is still ridiculously crazy to me. You think that he's not going to do the same? A whole man? Oh my goodness. You, you be out, just finally get what you want. Someone who's not out here messing around in order to go and ask to mess around and then get mad that the man messes around too. What is the world coming to? My wife approached me about opening up our relationship. Our SEX life had deteriorated a lot over the years, and in the end, I just stopped pursuing it completely. Uh, after months of I'm too tired, or not now, or I'm not in the mood, I just stopped asking, and we went about eight months without any form of intimacy at all. Now, now that's a problem. You can't be... If, you, if you're not having sex at all, and then you're going to allow eight months to go, someone's going to have an affair, period. That's just what's going to happen. So if you can't talk about it, you at least got to do it. You got to do something like get on a schedule some particular days of the week, something. But you can't be sitting around here just not having sex. And, and if this man put up with it, I don't understand it. But you, you, you just can't do that. You get the dude who's interested in you, who only wants you, who's not cheating in order for you to not have sex with him. So that that's basically an excuse for him to go cheat. You don't walk up to your girl and just ask for SEX. You That's lead true. things in the direction to the bedroom. Exactly. That's what a man does. He said, I would get a kiss on the cheek, and that would be the absolute limit. My wife worries about her age and the toll three kids have taken on her body. But I still find her as beautiful as the day I married her, and her body is more than enough to keep me going. Well, then I don't understand what the problem is. Then what is, what is going on? Oh, my goodness. She's great. You got the kids. Everything's great. And then you try to have sex with her and she's like, nope, 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 nope. Then I, somebody's off somewhere. This, this just doesn't make sense to me. Not being able to show her be how beautiful I find her as words have, haven't been enough and has been difficult. Uh, before the mess of last year started, she uh, approached the subject of seeing other people. It wasn't something I wanted to do and I was against it. But she explained that in order for her to get her confidence back, she wanted to be, to be desired by other people. Goodbye. Good effing bye. That's BS. And if this dude actually thought, oh, yeah, okay, uh, you know what he is. Because that don't make no good God sense. I understand why people are not getting married because this is ridiculous. Oh, my God. And this dumb sucker actually bought into this. Exactly. There's no SEX. So this guy should walk away. Obviously, the kids are old enough. They're adults now, what I'm, I've gathered here. So what the hell is holding him back, okay? Sure, he gets hit in the divorce and all that, but he can start over. Uh, goes on, he says here, I believe this was prompted by our eldest daughter, and she's very much into this new age stuff. How about the fact that why does your daughter even know any of this? So the wife is what? Talking to the daughter about her sex life with her father? Meaning... The wife is talking about her husband, who happens to be the father of the girl. Let's let's not get that twisted on what I just said. So this woman is so stupid that she is going to be discussing her marriage, her sex life with her daughter. I don't give a damn if she's 31. It's inappropriate. I don't give a damn if she's 41. It is inappropriate. And it puts your father in a bad light because of course, or I'm sorry, her father in a bad light because you're talking so negatively about her father. And then is this going to teach your daughter how to be married for future? And then your daughter is out here screwing around basically. So you're basically jealous of your daughter. And that's another reason why you want to do this. Okay. Let's not get that part twisted. 
because you're listening to your daughter, you're watching her, you're going out, this, that, and she's going out, this, that, and a third. You probably go out together, honestly. And then your daughter is going to suggest this? What kind of child is she? What do, who did you raise? She should have just, she should, first of all, shouldn't have said nothing because it's none of her business. And you as the mother, as the adult, as the person who raised this person from infant should have said, you're, this is inappropriate. This is not a comfortable conversation. Whatever I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and do, but we need to go ahead and start talking about something else. Like when we going to get you married? Why are you such a HOE? When are you going to change? When are you going to settle down? Uh, as I said, I wasn't happy, but I can see where there's no point in arguing as be simpler for me to agree. Smack. This is why your wife doesn't want to sleep with you, because you're a pussy. No point in arguing. No, I agree. And y'all know I don't like to use these words, but this is a simp, the biggest simp that I've ever heard. Oh, I don't want to argue. So what? So you're just going to go ahead and agree to something like this that was brought on by your damn daughter. So there's no respect from your daughter. There's no respect from your wife. And you're just like, oh, OK, you really act like you can't do better. Like you should have just said, you know what? You are free to do whatever you want because we're going to go ahead and get divorced at this point. Because this doesn't even sound like it makes good God dad on sense. She has no respect for you. Exactly. I don't have respect for you. Exactly. In this regard. OK. It's so sad to see how guys allow themselves to be so pee with. They get so worn down that it's always like, yes, dear. I don't even think that it's pee whipped because they're not even having sex. So he's just stupid at the end of the day. That's what I say. Uh, we didn't really set any ground rules. And my wife just took my acceptance at face value and carried on. Oh, I'm sure she carried on because this guy didn't have the balls to say no, let alone set any ground rules for this, for this ridiculous situation. Uh, I don't know whether she acted on it, as I've been rather busy with work in the last year, but I do know that she did spend two nights away from the house. As I wasn't really interested in this, in the first place, I didn't pursue anyone. In my eyes, I just wanted to, my wife to realize how beautiful she was so that our SCX life would return. Uh, my daughter has a close friend who is frequently coming around, and they've been close friends for quite a few years. Coming around? If the close friend is coming around, then that means what, the daughter still lives there? Oh my goodness. So, so not only are you doing this and potentially discussing this with your daughter, she still lives in the home, it sounds like. Come on, y'all. And you're doing this in front of her? So much so that we occasionally chat and she's around the house and it's not that much of a surprise if she's around the house. We've become closer over the past year as she's been spending more and more time around our house and it's, it's uh, through her that I learned that the open relationship was my daughter's idea. I was just about to say, she knows what's going on because she's the daughter's best friend. So she knows about all these issues. She probably sits there when the mother is over there talking her sugar honey iced tea about you to the daughter and her best friend. So she knows everything. It, whatever anyone's child knows, trust and believe her best friend knows it all. So the best friend is sitting around here, probably going to tell other people. The whole development probably knows. Yeah, they over there with an open relationship and the mother is out here. She's spending nights out and the father's just going to work and he ain't doing nothing. But I'm going to take care of that. <sighs> Disowned. Talk about a betrayal, huh? To stop rambling ahead, one thing led to another and I have been sleeping with her quite regularly. We can go back and forth on this because he's known her for a long time before she was legal. I, I would be high-fiving this guy completely if it was just some other 21-year-old because it would piss off the daughter and the wife. But her friend, there's a part of me that's thinking, good for you. The other part of me is like, eh, I would choose another 21-year-old. But I think the daughter has this coming, and I think the, the wife has this coming. At first, we were just using hotels to keep it out of the house. But the whole 2020 issue made us use the house, and my daughter has caught us a few times. That must have been awkward. She made it clear that she saw no issue with it, and whilst my wife has never seen us together, she is aware. Your daughter has no problem with this. Who is this family? Exactly. This is a daughter who's being raised by a mother who ain't sugar honey iced tea because this man was not there. He was working. He was out of the home. He was providing. He was doing his thing while the wife was at home. Whatever it is that she did, raising her daughters, complaining and talking to them because she has no friends. This woman can't possibly have any friends. That's why she's telling everything to her daughter inappropriately. And then, of course, the best friend knows what's going on. That's why I say the whole neighborhood knows what's going on. The whole daggone community, their business is out there. If y'all think that kids ain't are keeping quiet about stuff, they're not. 
the daughter sitting up here talking about, oh, well, I don't have any problem with it. And she didn't even go and tell her dad go mother, which fine. She probably shouldn't since she encouraged the shit. Like maybe she's uh, like, all right, well, you're doing it. I know it. It's not a problem. So honestly, she probably needs to keep her ass out of it. She has done enough, but she ain't sugar honey iced tea either. Uh, my wife, she's quite upset about it and says she wants me to stop. She doesn't want to end our open relationship deal, but she doesn't want me to be sleeping with other people we know. The audacity. So you didn't created this, didn't put no rules in place, but because it's someone now that everyone knows, now you want to have an issue and put in some rules and tell him what to do? Goodbye, man. I'm at a crossroads here. I'm quite enjoying this uh, purely physical relationship, and I don't want to go back to merely looking forward to a kiss that isn't on my cheek. But at some point, I don't want to cause my wife any grief. Uh, this woman is crazy. Her daughter is crazy-er. I'm okay with the bestie because she's just wrapped up in all this, but don't tell me she didn't have a plan to go after the dad because she most certainly did because she had all the information. She had the background. But this is a silly situation, and this man has brought this on himself. I'm sorry, I have to say it. This doesn't make any sense. Him going along with it because he doesn't want to argue. Like, what is the point? This is how you want to live the rest of your life? This doesn't make any good sense. She's not going to change. She's not going to come back. She's not going to do anything differently. You need to go ahead and move on. You need to go ahead and divorce her. You need to go ahead and figure out if you even want anyone else going forward. If you just want to do this, I agree. This is crazy. This is absolutely ridiculous. This man needs some daggone counseling, some mental health help. This man needs help. Somebody need to help this man. He is the complete problem in all this. I'm sorry. I know that's not what y'all want to hear, but he is. You went along with this. You allowed these people to treat you this way. You allowed your daughter out here to make a fool of you. And then you're going to sit up here and, and allow the, uh, the wife to sit up here and dictate what you should do while she continues to do what she wants to do. How do you win there? How do you get past that? I don't get it. It's not for me to get. Good luck to him. Good luck to them. Good luck to her. Good luck to the daughter. Good luck to the little girl. This is a hot mess.com. This is something that should be on a daggone reality show, but at the same time, not. Keep this mess to yourself. Good luck to you. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing to the channel. I will see you all in the next one.